Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about the dependency graph. Dependency graphs are created for attributes. Welcome again and uh, the next topic is the dependency graph. Uh, we have already seen the, the synthesized attribute evaluation and uh, we have used the, this uh, DFS step first search. We have used this depth first search and that is uh, from left to right. Okay, so that we have done left to right. So now uh, we are now coming back to this uh, dependency graph because DFS is not a useful algorithm when we are uh, dealing with the inherited attribute. Okay, so when we are talking about or we are dealing with inherited attribute, there I cannot apply DFS. Okay, because explicitly it doesn't take the value from the only only from the children. Here the situation is it can take the value from the parent also. Okay. So to understand that we have to understand the dependency graph and we will see that how de uh, dependency graph is uh, uh, evaluated or, uh, or execute itself. So if an attribute B at a node in a parse tree depends on the attribute C, the B is dependent upon C, then the semantic rule for B at that node must be evaluated after the semantic rule that defines C. Okay, so B is a dependent, B is, there is a dependency of B on C that then if you want to evaluate semantic attribute of B, then what is it is saying that semantic attribute or semantic rules for B must be evaluated after semantic attribute defines the C, semantic attribute defines the C. So now here uh, this is the situation that B is dependent on C, you evaluate C first then go to B. The interdependency among the inherited and synthesized attribute at a node in a parse tree can be depicted by a directed graph that is called the dependency graph. Okay, so now this is the statement. What is the depend where it is coming? The interdependency among the inherited and synthesized attribute. Okay, so this is not only taking care of this dependency graph is not only taking care of inherited attribute, but we can also draw the dependency graph for synthesized attribute. Okay, synthesized attribute. So for both the attribute, we can draw the dependency graph. And once there is a dependency graph is drawn, what we can do? We can evaluate, evaluate order suggested by, suggested by dependency graph. Okay, so that is the idea and uh, uh, that is how dependency graph is related uh, with this evaluation of attribute. In the next section, we will talk about uh, how we can uh, evaluate the dependency graph. So the question is how we can evaluate dependency graph. Okay, so that's all for this section. Thank you.